I want to talk to this property ownership issue out of Bill Possum's around the bait shop. So, the story goes about uh, Bill cleaning up a lot of those trees out there, and we had asked him to do that as far as some nuisance cleanup. And he also wanted that the east ditch cleaned on North State Road. As it, uh, there's some tile that, that kind of dump right there at the intersection on the east side of the road. And BNR said, yep, they could uh, accommodate that, they'd get that ditch cleaned. They had Gus Cleveland come in and clean that ditch. Now, they had hoped to have the DOT guys come in and do it, and, and they had their excavator down here and everything, and they kind of planned on doing it, but they didn't work out for them. That excavator was too big kind of to use in that area. So they hired Gus Cleveland, and Gus would come in and do it, and <coughs> Gus came in and, and cleaned that ditch out there. Um, the DNR had hired him to do this, and then the DNR and Clausen's intended to split the cost on that. So it was $800, $400 a piece for this ditch cleaning out there. Now, as Bill gets to thinking about this a little bit more, he uh, says, man, I'm not sure that that's really my property. You know, and, and how am I really involved with this? And as he talked with uh, the DNR, the DNR says, you know, the uh, North State Road right away there, it says, According to the DNR, they said it, it stopped about 50 feet south of that stop sign by, by the bait shop. Um, and we did just a little bit of looking here on our end, too, about where what we know to be the property ownership issues out there. And we come up with this, and it's on page 8. So the city actually had this legal description prepared for all of that DNR property out there. And this happened in 2000 when we were in the process of, of annexing lands around the lake and we asked the DNR then to annex that parkland on North Shore also just for consistency sake and, and to clean up uh, city limits out there and whatnot. So we asked the DNR to do that. So the, we had this legal description prepared. And a couple of interesting points in there you know, if you're looking at it long ways the, in the uh, upper right hand corner where it says mobile home park and in that east line of, of the northeast corner. The DNR land goes clear to the north fence line of that mobile home park, so it actually goes through the intersection a little bit. But then it also says that that east section, the east line of their property, is the east uh, section line of that northeast quarter of section 34. So what that is, though, is the ex just the extension of, of M54. So the extension of that county road, it comes up to the middle of the county road. You know, and these county roads that were <coughs> that were platted by the county way back in the 1800s, what that's going to say is that there's a county road and it comes from such and such section up here and it would go south to Blackhawk Lake. And we've seen this on a couple of other streets around the lake where the right-of-way just goes straight until it hits the water line, the high water level. Okay, so basically the issue there though is if that the street sits on east, and we know that the DNR owns the west part. Somebody's got to own the east part, but it's going to be an easement situation there anyway, which would have been a county easement. The area's all been annexed, and it becomes city easement. So the question is, does the city own this property, or, or does the city own the easement over that property? And we probably do. So we get, you know, taken into this a little bit. And Bill comes comes back and says, "Geez, I sure would, I sure would like the city to pay that four hundred dollars then to clean that ditch." What's your thoughts on it? Is that is that our property or not? I already told Scott it's not our property. Plus, we didn't order it. I mean, we didn't request the job to be done. But I do understand we could give him a notice of notice of nuisance, do we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. For that area. And really, when you get down to it, in my discussions with Bill, a lot of it was, uh, man, you asked me to clean this up. I, I voluntarily annexed a few years back and really get nothing in return for this. And he was just kind of angry about it in general. And, um, you know, I, he said that we would have this discussion. You know, I've talked with Bill about this and told him my ideas on land ownership and are we responsible. And I said, you know, you know we're, that we likely would not pay for that. But I checked with the mayor, so I talked with the mayor. Same thing, you know, we're, we, 
were not responsible for paying for that. If the only reason you would pay for it is just because you felt that you had some obligation to do it. Um, so I told Bill about that too. We talked with the mayor and, and really didn't have any intention of paying for it. And he asked that it would come talk to the council about it. If you don't pay for it, what's going to happen to it in the future? Yeah, we we hired John Healy. He cleaned out the west side of the ditch and part of the east side of the ditch. Uh, that was about five years ago, six years ago. And we cleaned up like 20 foot south of that intake, or, or the, where it comes across the road there. So the water would come across the road there, but it still went on his property. So, you know, we did part of that north, so I don't know whether it's all county right away or not. That time when we had he come, him come clean, we cleaned from Clawson's out to the highway, right? And then... Partially around the corner, yeah. And then, and then a lot on the east, on the west side was the worst. Right, yeah. So my question about this is that if, that, if we were to pay for that, is there any way that we could use that to our advantage? Or any kind of signage? I did ask that. I was kind of, is there any benefit to the city? Just that one of the things that Jack and I talked about was Claim. redoing that intersection. So was the intersection ours then? The whole intersection? I mean, well, I wouldn't do anything until we, we had a lot of information about what's what. You know, I really would. Well, who, who's the ultimate authority on that? The road is uh, an easement that was owned by the county and now we're annexed in, correct? Right. So the city maintains that road mm -hmm. and now belongs to the city. The road. When we sent them the nuisance letter, what did we tell them to clean up? Did we tell them to clean up that ditch? No, we, we, said, we said clean up a lot of the brush, take care of a lot of the dead trees. So he did the ditch on his own? Yeah. And it, I did not remember reading the news and stuff, I'm sure you saw it somewhere, but did we give him the impression that he had to clean up that ditch, do you think? Could it have been interpreted to clean up the ditch? He wanted it cleaned up for drainage purposes. But what uh, was it was a benefit to him. Okay. Yeah, I mean, so he, he, they, it kind of ties together, they end up cleaning all of the trees and stuff out of that ditch there too, but, but he wanted it cleaned for drainage purposes. Okay. Because we wanted the, the camp removed and he had a bunch of brush in the back that could be picked up. And he picked up a whole bunch and he couldn't even tell it. Yeah, he did a lot of work out there. Mm -hmm. He's still, there's still a lot left out there yet. He's going to camp for his own license. Yeah. Is it still there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, he'll be real tickled when we send him another one. Mm -hmm. so, they will wait till spring and say, I've always gotten along with Bill, I think, pretty good. He was kind of angry when he talked about this. Yeah. He wasn't very happy one day when I talked to him. But he won't be the first person I've talked to that wasn't happy with this. Back to the city, is there any advantage for us to... Is there any, any kind of signage that we could use, you know, that we could... I'm just, I'm just mm -hmm. trying to stay parked this way. You know, There's always been a huge uh, hole there, damaging your tires on that turn. Yeah, the intersection needs some work. Well, we whether we pay for this has no bearing on what we can do in that corner. Right. No. Mm -hmm. yeah, we own that property. We can do whatever we want. Right. It doesn't matter what we pay this. It's just, if, I guess my thought is, is if we didn't tell him to do it, we didn't intend to give him the impression that he had to do it, and he did it on his own, then it's not our property. Yeah, that, that's what I think. You know, that somebody comes out and sweeps the street just because they think it, it's a good idea, we don't have to pay them for that. Could we table this until we find out exactly what all would be ours, if it is ours, and said we'd have to do more checking and then see if we'd want to use it for signs, and I mean... Let's, that maybe yeah, what, what else can we do for checking there, Aaron, to feel better about the status of the ownership there? I mean. I look at somebody's abstract, maybe Bill's. I'd have to see any abstract. Well, we never told him to clean that ditch. He mentioned cleaning it up for his own drainage issues. It was the other stuff on the other property that, that, that 
and I talked to him, that's what we wanted to clean up. I think it'd be kind of a slap in the face of the guy if we cleaned it all up and then we put a bunch of signs for this or that in there and said, well, thanks for doing that for us. But, I mean, uh, we could see, that's wait, true. see if we want to use it for something and then maybe we can deal with them. Or it'd be hard to put some signs that are so close to this property that we'd have to we have to have a certain distance. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. That's just. Yeah, it's a good point, though. I mean, they, they need to consider that. Is it something we would have cleaned up eventually? Do you think? Jack? Yeah. Well, I assumed it was DNR property. Yeah, yeah. But if we had known we owned it, would we have went in there and cleaned it up? We would have. We would have finished going to the light. You know. <laughs> yeah. We went all the way. Yeah. We would have went all the way. But, we, but I assumed that that it went to. It was a DNR property, and you know. And didn't you talk to uh, DNR? Yeah, I've talked to Eric about it, and just uh, again, this, the stuff that they have says their their property line starts actually about 50 feet south of the intersection. So they don't they don't claim any ownership to this either. They. You know, they coordinated the project and had a little bit of investment into it just to take And then how many the feet is it normally uh, to the curb or to what would what be the curb? Isn't it, uh, or from the center of the, usually... The DNR's normal, are, normal easement around the lake is 10 foot off the edge. 10 foot. Well, the worst that could happen, he could come at the next council meeting and be out, right? Probably so. I don't see that happening. He's no. not kind of that kind, but he was up close for a while. True. <laughs> that's true. That's <laughs> true. Uh, like like I said, all all the way along, he asked for this, and he said no. So I mean, a no answer is not any anything different than what he's been told all, all along. Hmm. I, I don't hear anybody moving to pay the four hundred bucks. Looks like we're just going to let it go. But that let it go to me means there's no action and we're not going to pay. 